So really quickly, just to summarize what types of wounds require what types of dressings, let's go through seven of the most common types of wound characteristics. For superficial wounds, we like simple films and PMDs. Remember our jack of all trades. For wounds with eschar, which is like thick dead tissue, kind of like a third degree burn, we're going to look at hydrogels, hydrocolloids, and ta-da, PMDs. For wounds with lots of drainage, we're going to look at alginates, hydrofibers, foams, and PMDs. Just remember with foams, sometimes it may not be appropriate, so make sure that you're evaluating that. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. For wounds that are already starting to granulate, which means they're already starting to heal and prevent new present new tissue, we focus on hydrocolloids, hydrogels, and PMDs. Now for wounds with a lot of slough, slough is dead tissue that's falling off that needs to be debrided. We're going to use hydrogels and hydrocolloids, and we'll also often use simple wet to dry dressings. As that wet gauze dries, it will bring the slough off with it when you pull it out of the wound. For super deep wounds, we'll look at alginates, hydrofibers, hydrocolloids, and PMDs. Now, most of the time with a very deep wound, we are somehow packing this wound and then covering it with one of these sheet dressings. So you might see a wet to dry with a hydrocolloid over it or a gauze packing with a hydrofiber over it. And lastly, for infected wounds, again, we want to use one of those antimicrobial dressings like silver or iodide impregnated dressings. So I know that's a lot of information, so let me just boil it down to a few key points. Remember when selecting a dressing, consider the wound characteristics. What's going on with the wound itself? Is there drainage? Is there slough? Then think about the goals. What are we trying to accomplish with this wound? Are we leaving it open on purpose? Does it need to be debrided? Are we dealing with an infection? As you go through this process, make sure that you're working closely with your wound care nurse. They are specially trained just for this. Now, it's especially important to collaborate with them if you can tell that the wound is changing or it's healing and it needs a different type of dressing. Always verify your wound care orders. Again, sometimes they don't have specific directions, so you're going to need to use your nursing judgment and, again, use your resources. And finally, always make sure that you're looking for complications like maceration to the skin around the wound, reactions to the dressing itself, or, of course, possible infections in the wound. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.